Well, hello one more time. Glow Lady here with another soul chart. This one from September to December. And we have Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. So, Donald, as you see, he has more of a pink color in this chart. And Kamala has the, it looks, I guess, periwinkle blue. Those weren't the colors I started out with, but what can I say about those cheap washable markers? But I guess they be from China. And you get what you pay for. So if you want cheap or if you want everlasting, like it was built when I was a child to last, then that should give you an idea of what we're going to be looking for. Do we want quality or quantity? So, I really should do a whole video just on Trump's chart because as you can see where the pink falls there's one thing I can tell you about the Donald he is as he presents himself and pretty much as honest as you're going to get in a man. And he wants to be fair. He, he really wants to be fair to everyone in his relationships, partnerships. That's a big part of. Now him being him and being a man of his word. <laughs> yeah, he likes to talk about money. He likes to make a lot of money for the home front. He's always had his challenging with or challenges with balancing life and pleasure. But you know him by his hair and he is the lion. You will know him as he stands up and he tells you how it is. When he tells you how it is, he speaks it loud and proud. And that's just being him. He can change your perception if you allow him to speak. And, you know, don't consider him overly boastful. Because, really, um, he could be boasting a whole lot more about what he has done for other people. But he really doesn't. He keeps a lot of that to himself. Um, it's one of those random act of kindness that he doesn't feel the need to brag about all of the random acts of kindness that he has done in his past. And when we're looking at his high inspiration and it being where it is in the 12th house of institutions, well, what is a larger institution than the United States of America? So, that's where he's heading. He's heading to be a transformative figure and bringing back wealth and pride in the United States. 
So, when he says this is what he's gonna do, yeah, yeah, he prides himself in that. Now, Kamala. Kamala Spires. She would love to be more like the Donald, even though I'm not quite so sure that she would admit it. But then actions speak louder than words, so you see how she is making his uh, policies her own. It's it's like, yeah, everybody knows her for her talk or cackle, whichever word you would like to choose to, to use. Now, there again, the, you know, going, going against working with, uh, you know, she would, she, she talks a good talk. And even though she says, tell it to her face, well, she's not looking forward to it because she knows that the Donald will tell it to her face. So no matter how many times she tries to run out the back door, um, I guess I'm gonna say I'm gonna be really surprised if she's gonna get on that debate stage with the Donald. I would be very surprised. Um, you know, the interruption in his home life, she has not been very, very kind. And what she's going to find out is that the Donald, in his uh, career, he's going to be ripping off a few bandages off of her, uh, crying tears of the unburdening for her of what has been. And yeah, she's got some heavy burdens of what has been. So even though the constant attack of poison arrows and malfunctions of, and near assassinations of, when you have someone who walks a righteous walk in the glory of God, the good orderly direction that we the people are seeking in the United States of America. Well, the motto in God we trust is a um is a good one to have. Uh, Rody's going down, and if Kamala is not careful, she will be going down also from her actions and reactions. So she should learn a little bit more about what she can do for the benefit of all people and not just, oh, I'm going to stab the majority of Americans in the back. I'm going to be a part of a separate and divide so I can join forces with evildoers who say that they're going to let me do what I want to do to be general. But I'm um, sorry, Cackle and Kamala, you are just a pawn in an evil scheme 
to bring down, to separate and divide the United States of America. And from where I stand, you are definitely not seeing things very correctly. Or whomever is telling you to say these things is not telling you correctly. So, um, yeah, you might want to save face. Uh, well, that's right, you are saving face. You're in the basement with Joe. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess we know why you're in the basement with Joe. You know, it is good for the betterment of the United States that the fearful, laughing goddess of destruction is not out conducting, spewing hatred more than what she does. Because uh, talking with a forked tongue, she's got too many enemies, too many skeletons in her closet. And that's a probability of Donald taking off that band-aid, uh, rattling the skeleton key. <laughs> I wonder if that's why, how it got the name Skeleton key. Interesting, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, she, she, she is not going to have the happy ending in dealing with the Donald and those with ill intent. May we all pray for his protection while there is a transition going on and a new world, but not their order. Because we the people will be coming together under a leader who would much rather prefer to really do other things as much as he might seem like and is a natural getting out, he's more of someone who would rather stay home and uh, or on the home front, I, I, I should say. You know, he likes to build, he likes to create, and he's very good at it. That's why he would be very good, is good, as the President of the United States of America. And he will be a peace warrior for the world. And that's what they're, um, the elitists are more afraid of because they know, uh, those who know astrology know who he is. Those who know astrology also knew who Kamala is. So... Was she chosen to be? I guess they figured that um, she was all growl, but no bite. At least that's what my Carmella is telling me. So, get ready for... A, a growl down, and we'll see you, love you, bye, Hello, lady, signing out from a soul chart with Trump and Harris.